Well, it is quite the start of the week at the world's busiest airport. A live look here at the tarmac at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. With so many planes coming and going daily, it creates a lot of noise from miles around the airport. Well, now the FAA will invest millions to try to reduce that sound, and a local university will help. Uh, Fox 5's Tyler Finger is in Atlanta tonight to explain. With five runways, Hartsfield Jackson International Airport is a busy place that creates a lot of noise. But a few miles from the airport, there's work underway to try to make the skies a little quieter. If you ask Nikki Willis to describe what it sounds like when a plane flies over her home, you might think she's exaggerating. It sounds like a plane is landing in my living room. But during our short interview, plane after plane lined up for a landing, and at points, it was hard to hear her. It's very loud, and even if you're relaxing in your home and you just want peace and quiet, you can't have any. Every day, more than 2,000 planes take off and touch down at the world's busiest airport. To try and change the constant sound, the FAA has awarded 19 million bucks to universities across the country. Georgia Tech was awarded nearly 1.5 million for several different research projects. We're doing a lot of studies with regards to new technologies and how new technologies can affect aircraft. One of the things they're looking at is changing the location of engines. Georgia Tech professor Dimitri Mavra says bigger engines mean less noise, but there's only so much room below the wing. So researchers are looking at mounting them on top instead. If they're mounted on the top, you also use the wing to shield the noise from the fan and other sources as they propagate to the ground. So they bounce off and they jump into the atmosphere. While any technological advances are years away, Willis says research investments like this are important to her. Please hurry up and design something that um, can take away this noise. I mean, we've been here for how many minutes and how many planes have flown over our heads? Maverick says research like this will take years before it can become reality because safety is the major concern and nobody wants to mess with designs that work well. In Atlanta, Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News.